An airplane isn't something that conjures up the possibility of going on a vacation to a faraway place for Khaled. The sound and sight now represent the fear of dying and watching your home turn to rubble not once but twice. I'm always afraid that the missiles will hit our house again. If my family dies, I'll be alone. When the bombs began dropping and the fighters began shooting, the 10-year-old was too young to know the word war. But in the last six years, he's come to know all too well what it means. When I left the Friday prayers, a locket landed in the village and my brother Muhammad died. When the government militias came here, they killed my grandfather. War means having an escape plan and thinking about the easiest way for people to find your body after an airstrike. We go to the farm and hide behind rocks. There's also a hole next to our tent. I go with my brothers to hide in it. It's better to hide outside because if we die, it'll be easier to recover our bodies than digging through the rubble inside the house. Khaled's family is from Homs. They fled to Idlib, but the war has followed them. Our life is full of fear. What can I tell you? Each day the shelling on us is non-stop. Our children are living in fear, and their lives are so hard. The boy believes for President Bashar al-Assad and government officials, life is easier. Let them come see what's happening to us. They're sitting safely, and they don't care, and all the time we are scared. Khalid tells us he's getting braver. Recently, a plane flew low over his neighborhood. This time, he didn't hide. He threw rocks at it.